What was the percentage of uh, Democrats who believe Tara Reid? What did you sent me something about that? What was the percentage? Fifteen percent. Do you understand the ease with which the left lies believe women, which was a piece of nonsense? Is believe men nonsense? Then why isn't believe women nonsense? <laughs> believe dog owners. Well, you know what? Maybe there's something to that. So then the woman comes up, and we have a recording of her mother talking to Larry King live on CNN when Larry was on. It's 1993 when it happened, and talking about it, and that's not enough. She told people at the time, unlike the accuser from high school of Brett Kavanaugh, the press's reaction to both stories isn't isn't that enough for you to know the press is a fraud it's so sad i can't tell you how sad it is when i was a kid i would i read the papers it was so exciting to read newspapers i grew up in new york and i got the i got the herald tribune and the new york times i used to cut out all the new york in high school i would cut out the new york times articles on the, on the Soviet Union. I even remember the name of the two correspondents. Isn't that amazing? I've never said their names. Theodore Shabbat and Seymour Topping. Wow! You're right, that is a wow. That is long-term memory. I'm gonna look those guys' names up. I, I was transfixed. And now, if you're a journalist, I assume your commitment to truth is zero. Your commitment to getting rid of Trump, 100. That's what I assume. There are exceptions. I'm just telling you what I assume. Was there one particular event? Life. And no, it was just constant. It was, look, it's not new. I mean, the New York Times denied the, the uh, Stalin-induced famine in the Ukraine. Got, an, got a Pulitzer Prize for it. Got another Pulitzer Prize now for lying. America was founded in 1619 when the first slave came. And the American Revolution was about preserving slavery. The left craps on that which is good, that which is beautiful. It's such a dark part of human nature, leftism, that I, uh, I'm puzzled in that sense. Because people who, who in personal life sometimes are, are nice buy into something so dark because it, it appeals to their sense of self-righteousness. You will be your better person. You care for the poor and the, and the transgendered and LGBT and, well, I, that's the T there, and, and women and blacks. You know that the President Obama mentioned the Georgia shooting of the black man about which none of us know much. And given the historical record, often as facts come out, it's a lot more complex than the press and a Democrat present it. He's a rabble rouser in his very charming way. That's what he is. He gave a speech. He gave two speeches this past weekend, Barack Obama. One to high school kids at their graduation, which was perfectly acceptable. And one to the, what is the name of the organization? It uh, was to black uh, it's, associ it's an association of black colleges, and I am trying to find the name. Do you have the name in front of you? Graduate Together High School, that's the high school class. Yeah. Anyway, two black graduates. So here are, some, here are some excerpts. Along with the usual challenges of growing up, all of you have had to deal with the added pressures of social media reports of school shootings and the specter of climate change. 
Isn't that terrible? They have all been growing up with the specter of climate change. Historically black colleges and universities. HBCU. Thank you. Yeah, the specter of climate change. I wonder if Americans will have a taste for for more economic disruption thanks to the left and the next pandemic, climate change. 104 universities. And then, just as you're about to celebrate having made it through, just as you've been looking forward to proms and senior nights, graduation ceremonies, and let's face it, a whole bunch of parties, the world is turned upside down by a global pandemic. Uh, now, I don't blame him because everybody does this, even, even conservatives. The world has not been turned upside down by the pandemic. It's been turned upside down by the lockdown. But everybody buys the lie. It, it's everybody, including conservatives. It's just, oh, yeah, law, my God, the devastation wrought by the pandemic. No, 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 it's the devastation brought by the lockdowns. More on uh, all, all of the uh, his speech to the black graduates of 104 black colleges. It's woken a lot of young people. Does he use woken intentionally as because of woke? Because it's awakened. That's the English. Yeah. It's woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. There you go. This is it. These, these people are Marxists. Let's bring it all down. Didn't work. Right? We'll fundamentally transform the United States. 